When I was growing up, to me, the moment that I was astonished by, we're of slightly different vintage, but was the 74 oil crisis mm -hmm. because the oil companies were not being uh, sanctioned in any way. It was pretty clear to some, well, people were livid. There's long gas lines. And suddenly, it, you had, I had, I've always wondered when did companies start deciding they weren't going to participate and be part of the compact with, as part of the American dream that they all help each other. Uh, they suddenly started to worry about themselves more right. than the country. In, in some ways, that oil, the oil crisis in 74, and there were subsequent ones, 79, 80, there were a whole series there in the 70s, kind of goes to the heart of what you're talking about, about the way in some ways part of corporate America separated itself from the rest. When we did uh, the statistical basis uh, on, on a series we wrote for the Philadelphia Inquirer back in 74, uh, we compared all kinds of data for the big oil companies. And most people thought Exxon, Mobil, Texaco, all of these companies were just part of the American system because they were headquartered here. But we showed with the data that no, the U.S. was just another customer of these companies. And that showed us right away that their interest didn't necessarily lie with U.S. consumers. And in fact, we had uh, one oil company executive who found out the company was running ads in Europe, urging everybody to fill up their cars with their gas. And in the U.S., they were running ads, well, uh, conserve energy. Uh, don't be an energy wastrel. And we asked him, like, well, how can you do this? And he said, well, these are two different markets. But it showed clearly the interest of the American public and the interest of the American uh, government as such very often did not dovetail with their interests. So we, we saw that all the way through the 70s where the companies were moving in that particular direction, uh, not in, in a public interest. In the case of the oil crisis, what we found, and this is what amazed people, energy, oil prices shot up tremendously in 74 and then later in the, the end of the decade when there was another crisis. But we showed back in 74 that Contrary to the theory that there had been a cutoff from oil from the Middle East, that oil was flowing pretty regularly. So the companies had the best of both worlds. The prices were going through the roof. OPEC, the prices were going through, and yet they were selling almost as much oil as they ever did. But, and it also told us something very important, which a lot of journalists sometimes forget. History is made by what people think is happening, not by what's really happening. And that oil crisis proved that. Unfortunately, that's the way a lot of our public policies made in this country, by what people think is happening, not by what is.